Hi Virgo, the details to this reading are located in the description box, but be sure to only take what resonates and leave what does not resonate for someone else. At the end of the reading, I will be pulling cards for each individual sign, the sign you are dealing with. We're just going to get a quick message for you, Virgo. Let's see. Messages for Virgo, please. Messages for Virgo, okay. Ten of Swords, Three of Wands in Reverse. Okay, there's somebody here that they're feeling as if you didn't wait on that. Okay, Ace of Swords in Reverse. Somebody lied in this situation. Okay, this lie felt like a betrayal. Somebody feels like you're no longer waiting on them, okay? Who is this person? Queen of Cups. You, I'm, I'm getting a lot of self-discovery, okay? Uh, you know, discovering your self-love, this person that lied to you, this person that rejected you, okay, caused you to really, yeah, Eight of Cups, you went into a period of introspection and you realized that, you know, you had the power to love yourself. So I feel like you healed yourself from the inside out or you're still in the process of doing this and it was very disappointing to walk away from but you knew you had to or you know you have to how do they see virgo the star they want to find you the star the nine of wands so they see you as someone who is authentic, okay? I feel like this person really... Excuse me. <laughs> I had to turn off the mic because I had to sneeze, but... Anyway, Virgo, I feel like you, you know, that you you really started to bring someone out of their shell here. Okay, how do they feel about Virgo? They wanted to drop their guard. They feel like this is going nowhere or this went nowhere. They feel like there's a delay happening, so. So why do they have their guard up? Page of Swords, they didn't want you to see who they really were. This person was wearing a mask, page of swords in reverse, nine of wands. So like they really look up to you, Virgo, for being someone who lives authentically, or you come across to this person as open, vulnerable, authentic, you know, free. Okay. And they were really drawn to that. However, they themselves, the reason why they were so drawn to that is because they themselves were not that way. So they were very intrigued by you. I don't think they've ever met anybody that was capable of you know being as free as you were or as you are you know they, i don't think they've ever seen anybody as authentic like you're truly like no one else to this person and so they were continually wearing a mask around you but you gave them this sense of feeling as if they could take it off this person really started to feel like they could reveal who they truly were but I feel like before all that happened, there was a lot of lying that took place. This person was masking who they were, and then it's kind of an energy of feeling like they took it too far. And they felt, they're feeling as if they can't come back from this. That they may have take, taken the lies or, you know, the mask too far. Okay. I 
I feel like you would give this person another chance if they were to come forward. This is who we're dealing with, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Swords in Reverse. There's an energy here of you. I feel like you're looking forward to a reunion with this person. But the Four of Swords in Reverse, the Ace of Pentacles, it's like a reunion at their own free will. Okay, so what's this person's next actions towards Virgo? Where are their next actions towards Virgo? We have the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Knight of Swords. It's like a false start. This person goes to reach out to you, but then I think they, they, they lose their strength. They lose their courage. So it's like somebody has something like a message typed up or they go to call you, but then it's like a false start. They feel as if they're being too, um, they feel like they're rushing it or they feel like they're being too, uh, spontaneous here. Okay. So it's like they go, they, they go to contact you, but, but then they, they, uh, lose the, the impulse. Okay. Because I feel this person is trying to rationalize reaching out to you. So their next actions, they go to they go to reach out and then they don't do it. Is what this is telling me, Virgo. They go to tell you something and then and then they bite their tongue. So this person, you know, doesn't really have the courage right now. Unfortunately. Okay. Um but they want to talk to you. There's there's this really strong impulse to speak with you, but Ace of Wands in reverse, like they're wondering if it's a waste of time, like what would come of this? Would they look foolish? Because they're still trying to heal this the this self that they feel as if needs to be masked that, that needs to have a mask on it. Okay. What's, what's Virgo's advice? What's your advice, Virgo? Let them pursue you. Knight of Cups in reverse. Not to pursue. Not to be easily persuaded either. Ten of Cups in reverse, okay? You're being guided not to overly invest yourself in a situation. You're being guided to allow a situation to end if this person doesn't come forward. What do they want to say to Virgo? That they wish they had treated you better. Anything else? They left you before you could leave them. So they feel as if they, if they were to have taken off the mask, they feel like you would have seen something that would have caused you to leave. If they would have been honest with you, that's why they lied. And then they feel like you were getting very close to discovering who they truly were. And so that's why they took off, but they're wanting to come back Virgo. One more please. We both know I'm not the one for you. So they feel as if you could do better anyway. I feel like that's what causes them to lose their strength. Like they go to reach out and then they feel as if they're not right for you anyway. So they should stop. Okay, we're going to do Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with this sign, Aries through Pisces, please, Spirit. Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, this Aries is very sneaky. Okay, I don't see the Aries taking off the mask anytime soon. If you're dealing with a Taurus, uh, there's an energy here of them hiding. I feel like this person is ashamed of themselves. This Taurus is afraid to come forward. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Geminis, they're holding on to faith that you two can work something out. The Gemini is still invested. 
If you're dealing with a Cancer, there's a strong attraction that the Cancer has for you. If you're dealing with a Leo, they want a fresh start. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo is walking away. If you're dealing with a Libra, I see some drama up ahead between you and a Libra, Five of Wands. Page of Swords. I feel like Libra has been spying on you and they're bringing some drama your way. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they have strong romantic feelings for you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they want to reunite or come together. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're hung up on you. Okay, they haven't moved on. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they have a crush on you. Page of Cups, this Aquarius really likes you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, there's a strong attraction this Pisces has for you. I'm getting like sexual tension too between you and a Pisces. All right, Virgo, those are your messages. Thank you guys so much for joining and until next time, bye.